Hello everyone, and welcome to the first video regarding the development of my final year project. Uh, for those wondering, the title of this project is Usage of Neural Networks to Improve the Intelligence of Task-Based AI Systems. Which I admit sounds rather grim, but to explain, neural networks try to imitate the way that the human brain functions. Task-based systems say, here's a list of things I can do, which one should I do at this, at this precise moment based on a set of conditions. Now I'm programming this inside of Minecraft 1.6.2, as you can see on the bottom left here, uh, because the Minecraft Coder Pack, which allows me to deobfuscate the code of Minecraft, hasn't been released for the most recent versions. But it's sufficient. So, so far I've developed four sort of copy entities, which you can all see on these uh, spawn eggs here. I've got Nero Villager, Nero Wolf, Nero Zombie, and Nero Skeleton. So I've got a standard wildlife kind of creature, the, the wolf, I've got a more human creature, the villager, standard enemy, the zombie, and a ranged enemy, the skeleton. Now, as I said, these are all pretty similar to their counterparts. You can see we've got the green villager here because he doesn't have his own skin yet. These are all skinned as normal. Uh, I do plan to have, add a bit more visual distinction to them, but by and large they're identical to their normal counterparts, just to maintain a sort of visual distinction. Now, the first thing is that these guys have very little, like, different to their standards. The reason being that I need to first implement the neural network in code inside of their tasks, and then, and then enable them to imitate the standard behavior of the task-based system. That is to show that the hybrid system, the neural network plus the task-based, can imitate the same results as the task-based system. That is to say, it's not a detriment at any point. And let's just switch to night so that we can see, of course, yes. There we go. So that we can see the skeleton and the zombie. Now, the zombie will attack villagers. He doesn't pray, isn't presently coded to attack the Nero villager. And the skeleton will work just fine. They don't come with any armor and they don't spawn more mobs, and so they're just the default. Why are you on fire? This one's down. Oh. Okay, because it's not night either. Time set. 16,000. There you go. And, you go. and they've got some friends. These guys are not natural spawns. These are these only spawn in at the moment due to my eggs. Although I plan to have the wolves and the villagers breed autonomously by themselves. These guys, I think I'll have some kind of population boost on them. So, what's going to happen is that I'm going to give all of these guys brand new tasks, separate from the ones that the standard creatures have. These guys are currently just using the same ones. And I'm going to change the preconditions to utilize a neural network system, the weights of which will determine the course of action these guys take. So for example, the villager over here, if he is targeting a zombie for whatever, for whatever reason, and his neural network detects that, the weighting should cause him to flee. And similarly, for wolves, if they detect a food item, such as a pig or a sheep, then they should decide to attack. So that's basing, based on what the neural network preconditions tell them. And that then also means that I can add in later a learning algorithm, which will cause the weights inside the neural networks for their tasks to change over time based on their experiences. So if a villager detects a zombie within, say, 200 blocks, they are be they may be less likely to flee as opposed to if they were within 10 and Or the reverse depends on what they decide I might even give these guys the ability to fight back by themselves because they don't have the village objects at their disposal to spawn iron golems And of course the skeleton and the zombie are also gonna have similar ideals So the skeleton will determine when to start shooting at someone based on range and the zombie might decide to start attacking a specific target, or even may decide to flee based on low health. So that's the main thing, I want these guys to be as intelligent as their default counterparts, or better. So right now, we just have the entities themselves. So, this, But this is, this is literally day one, and I've got four entities instantiated that are separate to their counterparts. So a good start, and I'll be giving another update probably Wednesday of next week, so keep an eye out for that. Catch you next time.